In a soft world of wool, once filled with life and joy, wanders a ragged and lonely soul. He has climbed across mountains as high as tall towers, in search of life, in search of color, and mostly in search of <laughs> pretty flowers. Now when Stuffy sees something pretty, very little can keep him away. And not even steep cliffs or imminent danger can keep him at bay. Well, frankly, it's pretty amazing this creature is still around. Maybe what he should be looking for is a sense of direction while defying the principles of natural selection. Find some solid ground. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not the first time Stuffy falls. It's a big elephant. He can take it. Let's see what this wanderer has fallen into this time. Oh, hello. I know this is an interesting start to a video. Normally, I would have introduced myself on the, the title screen, but I just was watching just like you were. So, uh, so yeah. Hey, I'm Aaron from GameWithDeuce.com, and I'm checking out Woven. This is the version for the Xbox One. I remember seeing this. I think this is a Kickstarter game. I think. If not, I'll correct <laughs> with with some annotations, but... Memory serves. That's an interesting look, that's for sure. Very textured. Look at that. So many textures. All right. I mean, he just took a bit of a spill down. Yeah, that hill right there. Yeah, that that must have hurt a little bit. So, a little bit of a limp there. But that's kind of to be expected. Have you seen all those flowers? I've seen the flowers. Hmm. Oh, just your ordinary colorful woolen valley here. Although I must admit the knitting work is excellent. Hmm. I guess I can't interact with the flowers, but that's that's okay. If I know Stuffy, he won't like going into that cave. I'm not saying he's a coward, but he's not exactly brave. Well, wow. not in darkness anyway. What a slight. 
I mean, obviously it's leading me towards the cave because the game is, I guess, using reverse psychology. But I guess this thing goes right back around, so I may as well go right into the cave, which is the ultimate goal anyway. Despite my lack of braveness. Okay. Just keep moving. Whoop. Let me go over there. Ooh. I just love the wooden puppets used here. I didn't go in the cave. I'm sorry, I was looking at another screen, so I'm, I was a little distracted. Let's actually do this. Thing. Oh, so he really won't go. Okay, I just saw him run. I thought maybe he ran out the other side. Okay. My mistake. I don't know what this does. Hmm. What is this metal machine doing here? Looking lifeless and all wrong. It's not yet a part of our story. Oh, Stuffy, move along. Don't tell me what to do. Uh, well, yeah, that's, he's right. It's not a part of our story yet. Up ahead. An intricate little machine jutted from the ground. But Stuffy, of course, glanced over it, for what also came into view was a pretty little bird, all colorful and blue. Yes, Stuffy, go ahead, frolic, make some sound. That could make him come around. Yes, frolic. Okay, let's, let's see what we have here. A little bit of little investigation. Now Glitch what is that? up and sees the world for the first time, filling him with wonder blazing. For a woolen world stretched out before him. Soft, woolen, and frankly quite amazing. For as long I don't as I've ever thought about wonder blind, blazing but before, but soft hands of wool, you have to run. Caring and kind. Who was this creature looking so terribly lost? Loose limbs and half its ear torn. How did it come to look so worn? Glitch paused and thought, not knowing what to do. Was he a thing that helped? And a kind thing, too. For now, maybe, circumstance had let their paths cross. They should stick together for now, and be less at a loss. Now, okay. Glitch, this all was pretty strange. You see, gone was the cold metal, foul smoke and creaky clocks. His vision now filled with soft, knitted hills and neatly quilted rocks. Was he the only metal creature here? Is that like me yelling? Oh, okay, that's just me singing or something. Okay. I didn't it didn't look like it before now I can see it's like a face on the right and then sounds coming out on the left. Sorry, right, you know, just you know, different interpretation. Uh, Glitch, do you have a flashlight built in that we can use in this cave? I hope you do. Or since this thing seems to be smoking, let's see what we can do over here. In a world of soft shapes, fiber and stitch, stood a metal machine with a socket perfect for glitch. The machine came to life. It was made for knitting. With the right pattern, glitch could make any fabric fitting. He could set stuffy right and found he would do so with delight. Now, why would that be? 
by this new hey, my leg feels sad. Stuffy sir. hooted with glee, thinking life was too short to remain the same for all eternity. <laughs> Such an optimist. Ah, I can stop now. Okay, now I'm moving much faster. Okay. I'm not sure if I know what the iconography means to shit, but... Stuffy could not be persuaded to enter the cave, mightily fearing the dark. And I helped mightily fear the dark. Hoping he could give a spark. Oh, duh. The light bulb Him? thingy. Keep an eye out for Glitch. You'll think out loud when an action can be done. Okay. Yep, yep. Do it again. An aardvark to a dog to a deer. To a squirrel or whatever. Ah, uh, there's that machine. There's a machine in the middle of the forest by itself. I don't know. Another type of machine marred the otherwise colorful view. With arms like that of an insect, limp and still. It seemed to tug at Glitch's will. Now, why would it do that? He had no clue. Like a cartoony version of something out of dead space. This machine spoke to Glitch in words without sound. If they spoke back in the correct rhythm, something important could be found. Uh, what? Puzzles. I'm never good at these types of things. Oh. Okay. Okay, so I basically have eight different areas with which to think about. Okay, so let me do that one. Okay. Oh. That wasn't. Okay. I didn't I I thought I was gonna move the whole line or something, but I like that. Why would a machine containing a stuffy knitting pattern be here? That's a really Was good there question. a connection with all these knitting machines near? Ah, a new shape could have other abilities. That was pretty neat. This new blueprint contained patterns for both strong arms and powerful feet. Useful, I'm sure. Okay, so... See what's over here. Your leg is good. Keep climbing. Your leg feels fine. You can scan the patterns on certain flowers, patches, or creatures. Glitch will find special uses for some of these colorful features. <laughs> You'll see. Hmm. If I can stop. I'm like the glitch just tells you, like, hey, do this thing. I'm completely okay with that. Ooh, plum. I've had a good plum in a, in a long time. Let's see. To your left, your collected animal patterns can give you varying abilities. Okay, to, reach your to your left. To your right. You can apply any of the fabrics you have scanned so far. Smoke will tell you when a knitting machine is near. Huh. Nice. Uh, let's 
see. There we go. It's different. It make, it's bold. It makes a statement. Bold and beautiful. I don't know. Just look at that combination of color. Okay, so I just came back around. But I didn't walk over to this. Glitch didn't dare leave Stuffy behind. There was so much of this world he didn't yet know. He had just awoken without memory. If off he flew, where to would he go? Besides, someone should keep an eye out for his newfound friend. Who was better suited than a firefly that could apparently knit, fix, and mend? Ah, oh, the push function. I don't think I have that one. I don't see it. Okay. Hmm. No push. So, what does that mean? Arr. Arr. I don't think that's gonna help. One. Arr. We stomp again. That felt good, but this thing is still here. That's weird. Oh, I'm noticing that the icons uh, appear now. Okay, if you look over here, now the push icons appear. That's what I should have done before. But, you know, that's fine. Ah, now the push icon appears. Cool. Go back over here. I'm not running the wrong way. What am I doing? I need more sleep. There are more of those machines as the one in which Glitch had crashed to the ground. They will tell you about the chain of events that led to Glitch ending up here and being found. If you can piece together what they are trying to say, that is. Hmm. Let's see what happens here. 
Glitch get in there, Glitch. My memories, images, and words, making no sense, but holding great worth. He remembered words without sound. He was falling to the ground. Something was lost, and great was the cost. He saw darkness and steel, felt the turning of the wheel. A great danger was unleashed, like an untamed beast. The hunt had begun. Uh oh, that's not good. The machine gave Glitch a glimpse into his lost memory. Although this world did not seem to be in jeopardy, he would need to find more memories to understand any of it. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see if I stop with this thing for. Nope. Ah, <coughs> uh, I guess pushing would be more in order. All right. Stuffy was impressed by Glitch solving all this complicated stuff. Glitch had real smarts. That was sure enough. Can't get wet. Can't eat after midnight. You know, you know, they just keep limiting what I can do. And to that I say no. Oh, a boat. As Stuffy stepped on the pumpkin, the stream swept them on their way. Deeper into the meadows, and the hidden wonders that therein lay. And the hidden, and as of yet still distant dangers, of course. That's when Glitch saw the moon and felt its immediate pull. It entranced him and endeared him and made him stare like a fool. <laughs> he wanted to go there. No, he felt that he should, but still not knowing how or for what reason he would. How could something so big be held trapped in the sky? He retreated deep into thought, pondering the how and the why. Stuffy just enjoyed the view. Staring at all the different creatures and sights floating by. Not much pondering the how. Not caring a whole lot about the why. He remembered her with other creatures. A long, long time ago. Nicely rolled. It felt right. Bays of hail. Bales of hay. I'm tired. Okay. Seeing the moon had changed Glitch eternally, and to get to it behind the Red Mountains, they should be. Now since Stuffy can't swim, they would have to go around. My guess is that at the end of this path, a way up can be found. One of these paths, anyway.
seeing what's betwixt these rocks. What is that? Is that another button? Yeah, it's another button. Is that Mothra? Is that Mothra? Okay. Hmm. You know, to be honest, when I see trailers for this game, I never quite... Well, there's more than one, but I, when I'm watching gameplay, I was never quite sure how it worked. Like, I didn't know... Like this seems more third person like adventure than platformer. Like so far you can't jump. Doesn't mean you won't be able to, I have no idea. But it's not about jumping. It's not about you know traversal and getting to high oh, okay. I'm getting over to different areas of getting to like high this valley how to reach per places but, but to glitch something felt well amiss. Stuffy must once have lived in a valley just like this. But without others of its kind? Surely not. They must have traveled to someplace new. Maybe leaving Stuffy behind. Oh, what a thing to do. Mm. That was not exactly what I was trying to do. Uh, hmm. That's uh, quite the colorful bird. Okay, where is that thing? Oh, there it is. Check it out, glitch. pattern.
Hmm. Whatever works. like a sounding horn something got ripped something got torn mm -hmm. he had died on the spot and was birthed anew but something had gotten greatly askew the world was wrong gone was the song what song what was wrong oh it made no sense okay we got two out of five here ah and i can just push this one hey water it hasn't killed me. Right, let's push this thing. Oh wow! Really pushed. I thought I was gonna you know, slide it. Just... Here look quite comfortable. Another pattern, y'all. What in the world is that? The big snake looked stuffy up and down and shook his head with a passion. Could it be because their outfits did not match? Glitch had no idea snakes could care about fashion. Well, me neither, but apparently they do. Out of my way. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to do anything. Hmm. Oh, I do like the sun. Yeah. I like getting by too. Um, that was the same. I need to go change my pattern. Glitch grudgingly admitted a short intermission was fine. Change that pattern real His fast. actual enthusiasm showed uh, by asking Stuffy, what color and shape shall it be this time? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I did it wrong. Uh, there we go. Uh, I don't know how much of it I have to change.
Let's just go all the way. You know? <coughs> I'm gonna fully commit. I'm going all the way in. You know, you know, this half step. Go hard or go home. Let's do this. Alright, let's see what happens. The snake nodded approvingly at <laughs> Stuffy's fancy display, seemed happy, and lifted his tail out of the way. Right, let's go. They had to find a way up to the Red Mountain Range. Stuffy's current shape would give trouble, but that they could change. Rather, it was in his wandering attention that the challenge lay. Glitch gently reminded Stuffy not to stray. Surely there was no sense in cuddling the sheep, or playing chase with the bees, nor looking for other hidden adventures between the trees. They should follow the road forward and... What was that? Glitch saw a metal spider. Fear tightened his oh, wings. Wow. Memories of darkness stunned him with a vision of long metal limbs. For a moment, his head reeled with confusion. There was no spider there. Stuffy waited for him, unaware. It must have been an illusion. But I saw it. Maybe I have the glitch. I'd rather have the juice than the glitch. These sheep seemed happy. There was no sign of danger around. Maybe Glitch's premonitions were nothing but false visions. And there wasn't imminent danger lurking about. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Hmm. See what that thing is over there. More sheep. Oh, black sheep. One of them looked unique. Sure, Glitch could scan the pattern as long as the sheep were meek. Hey, Blackie. Okay, uh, all right. What was that thing I was looking at? Oh, there it is. Hmm. No real need to push this since it's not really in the way exactly. Get out of here. Is this Stuffy thing? ogled the apples hanging from the tree oh, it's apple and tree. suddenly knew that Apple Red was all he ever wanted to be. Hey, the stomp's going to be useful Inside, again. Boom. Stuffy was very easily distracted. Should he really even bother? Okay, let's get Stuffy them apples one way or the other. Where did the apple go? Did it fall far from the tree? It should not have fallen far from the tree if everything I've been taught is is correct. Okay, I've been taught nothing. Did I, did I, did I do it wrong? Okay. Oh, oh there it is. The, the wild boar has it. And has eaten it. Oh, ducks, look at that. 
Okay, so I have to go get a sword to slaughter the wild boar. Got it. Okay. I'm gonna have to uh, bring this to a, an inevitable conclusion, but I like it. Oh, didn't get it. Wait till it stops moving. It's not moving. All right, now it's not moving. That would have been the perfect time. What are you doing? There we go. Tawny. Okay. So. Yeah, that's a little bit of, uh, I guess the first, uh, 30, 40 minutes of Woven. Oh, another machine to change stuff. So, that is a little bit of Woven. This is different than what I expected. Um, more about just exploration and just trying things. It kind of tells you what to do, but there's still... It's like, but there's still, it's like a, a good game to sit down and play, you know, with the, if you have young kids or just want something kind of relaxing. The music is kind of unassuming and relaxing and, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. So, yeah, that's Wolfen. Um, so, I hope they should pop up on screen. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment if you want. Uh how do you feel about games that are more more that look like 3d platformers but are less about platforming and maneuvering and more about exploration and adventure so yeah let me know down below uh something should be on screen that you can click on to watch more videos you can also give thumbs up and leave comments for so go ahead and do that check out the game enthuse podcast all these things are also found at gameenthuse.com made this far bless you uh thank you for watching take care and be blessed